Who the heck am I to give you the universal secrets? I'm you. I'm the one. I'm everything you see. And so are you. I'm going to give you a simple explanation how everything works and you can start using it today. It could blow your mind because when you start to see the results, holy cow, the sky's the limit and beyond. You ready? I'm going to share all of it with you right now. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube. I'm here to help you get past the fear, break through it. I have a whole course on this, a one year course on this. But guess what? I'm going to give you the tools to manifest anything, all kinds of free stuff. And today, that's one of those lessons. How do we create our own reality? How does it work? How do we change it? What is it all about? I'm going to share this with you. It's really very simple. Now, yes, we could go into all the details of quantum physics and everything, but I'm going to talk to you in a more scientific way that is how spirituality and everything works. Number one, everything is one thing. This is the toughest thing for us to imagine. So we act like separate beings and we believe we're separate, so we treat each other separately. Number one, everything's one thing, and I'm going to tell you how you can use it because it will blow your mind when you actually tune into this. Quantum physics, everything is entangled because it's all one thing, so it has to be. Why do we appear to be separate? Because the one thing of which everything is just a part of has individual expressions. Every single individual expression is not disconnected from that one energy. It's not disconnected, and this is the critical piece. If you understand this, you will start to control every part of your life, and you're going to be okay with the challenges that come along because you're going to understand what they are. Everything's connected. So that means the one thing, and you are an expression of that, is absolutely accessing every possible probability, past, present, future, person, situation, thing, that car you want, that person, that job, that whatever. Now here's the critical piece about that because I'm going to tell you how it all works and how you can access it and use it right now. Within the individual expressions, because, because whatever we focus on, we as the seemingly individuals who are oh, just one energy, we can through just our focus, access anything. We can access anything, because you are it. That is how we create the individual expressions within the one. Does this make sense? The one is appearing to be separate because you, who came here to express yourself as Bob or Mary or Landry or whoever, gets to create an experience within the one with the focus to whatever energy within it, it chooses. So you and I would, within the one energy of which we are, our finger, let's say fingers, because this is part of my body. I can move it. I can talk to you. I can concentrate and still do this, right? This is just me looking at this finger and saying, I want to move that finger, right? Can you see that finger? I don't have to think about it. I just know it. I direct it. That's you. This is the power you wield. So quantum physics says that I am all these fingers, but if I focus on it, and I don't even have to look at it, right? Because it's not even relevant. It's just a focus of knowing, concentrating on that finger and saying, I want to bend it. That's quantum physics. Now I, even though I appear as an individual, and these, this is you know all, all the things that I can focus on, I am actually co connected to absolutely everything. My energy is. So the appearance is what screws us up, right? I, I look like a separate energy. I'm not. So me, who is connected to everything, this is everything, gets to individually create my own reality because I choose this finger. And so I'm going to experience that. You may, 
choose this over here. Now, what if we both choose this finger? Because imagine that I am the energy of the universe. If we both do this, we become massively entangled. Okay, so everything's entangled. It's all one thing. But entanglement means that now my focus and your focus are now interacting here. So what does that mean? If you want the love of your life, and the love of your life is not focused in that area at all, has no intention of <laughs> dating, then you can focus here all you want in that love of your life, that specific person, it's never going to happen. Because their free will allows them to create that reality. So if, you're, if they do this, they come over here. And by the way, you can affect them. So if you put it out there, and you can affect them, you might get a phone call from them. That, but that free will that they have cannot be disrupted because their quantum focus within this one energy creates what they want. And it may not be you. All right? So you can influence things to bring them about. But you have to understand, and this is, this is the final piece of it, you have to understand that we are all within the energy it, getting to express things through our focus within the energy. That quantum field creates a situation, puts our focus, creates that reality. And so we have to accept the fact that whoever decides to become entangled in that is either going to participate with us or, or not. That's total free will. That's what allows me to have Landry's experience and Bob to have Bob's experience. All right? What if Bob wants to experience something within my field and I'm putting something out there? Let's say I have one of my courses and Bob wants to create a change and Bob, through quantum entanglement, is now placing that request out there and happens to see one of my videos that YouTube recommends and clicks on it because now we're entangled in that focus we both have. Mine is to help other people in spirituality and Bob is wanting that. So my video shows up and Bob clicks on it. Now Bob is over in my reality learning and you know getting what I'm offering through my training. That's how it works. So if that person you desire to date, oh, I want to date Susan, I want to date Susan, and Susan's going, oh, okay, hmm. You know, they go to the same grocery store as you, and you run into Susan, you go, yay, here's Susan. And, and, and that Susan's last, like has no, no interest in dating anybody, much less you. It will not happen. You will have some in, inter, inter entanglement, right? You're, you'll be in that space, but the free will of each individual expression allows them to create that reality. And no one can interfere with that. They can interact with it. And that's why you can't control the world because everything's getting to express itself. You can control your reality within. So if you say, I want the ideal person, absolutely they'll show up because that, there are way more choices there. Of course, everything's unlimited, but the bottom line is that ideal person now isn't just Susan who has her own free will, right? And you can't interrupt that. You can't override it. Now, if you open up to the perfect person, you have unlimited possibilities, and then that perfect person shows up at the grocery store, and you, hello, sir, how do I pick the right, you know, grapefruit? Oh, let me show you. This is how it works. Now, here's the deal. You, you absolutely can create anything. But along the way, the other entangled situations individuals are always going to factor into that. So relax, okay? So if I want that ideal job, and I, I focus over here on this. Here's my ideal job. I'm focused on it. It's here. It's here. And, I'm, and I don't have blocks. I don't have the, I can't get it. I'm not good enough. Well, I'm not going into that on this video. I'm going to assume you have your act together and you know that you can create anything. I'm focused on this job, this job, this job, this. And I go and I interview for that job, right? So if I'm requesting this job, sorry, I have to switch fingers. I'm not switching the job. So now, according to everything that I have created, up until this point, 
Those are all factors of what I have chosen and created in my reality. So now if I switch over here for this job and I am so not qualified, I'm now going to create me getting that job. Let's say, let's say this is just the ideal job. I don't want to go into that, it has to be that job. This, the ideal job. Now the universe, because I'm creating that right now, and I'm, I am really creating that, now starts to do whatever it takes, align all the other things that I'm entangled with, which is everything, but now my focus is on that. So now the things that are directly entangled with a perfect job are going into play. What if I lose my job? And I'm going, wait, I was supposed to get the ideal job and now I don't even have one and, and, I, you know, and I got rejected or what? The universe is giving you exactly what, what you asked for. Because in order for you to have the ideal job, you are required to get new skills. You are required to change how you're behaving, uh, to behave, uh, you know, what, what you're doing within, you know, what you have to learn to get that. So the universe is absolutely giving you all those things. So it appears that things are not going properly when, when they're absolutely working for you. Does this make sense? My focus within the field that I'm entangled with it. So imagine everything has a silver cord and it's all connected to me, right? Everything, you know, this is connected to me. It all is. It's all, we're all just one energy. It's flowing through all of us. When, as soon as I put my focus on here, we are now entangled, you know, closely entangled, right? Even though I'm everything. Now my focus is on here. So if this is my ideal job, right? My ideal job and I continue to focus on it every day, then all of a sudden, everything that has to happen for me to get this job will start to happen. But here's what, hap here's what people do. This is where people screw up. You know, well, I mean, you can't really screw up, but here's where people, you know, lose, lose their, uh, let's just, faith and focus. It's because it appears that things aren't happening, so then they, then they give up, they lose their faith and they focus over here. Okay, so I'll go and get the, the, the other job or whatever. And they're like, when the universe was pulling everything together for you to get that ideal job, but you weren't doing what it takes to get there because human beings say, I have to just, I'm gonna go in, get my resume and a miracle's gonna happen and, and all these super qualified people are not gonna be chosen, I'm gonna be chosen. No, the universe says you are on planet Earth and this job requires, what was that? That's weird. And this job requires these skills. So if that's what you want, let's get you the skills. So my ad pops up for internet marketing <laughs> and you and you click on it and you go, wow, I'm learning skills. I can, I can build websites. I can create online businesses. I, I know how to market online. I can do all these amazing things. I know how to create a YouTube channel that works. You know, all this stuff. And you go, you learn it and you go, I am so now qualified for that job. And all of a sudden that resume qualifies for it. This is really powerful stuff, guys. If you, if you really grasp this, it's powerful. So when you put that request and focus out there and you don't have those negative thoughts, download my free mobile app and clear out the negative thoughts, right? Get on my free email list and learn how to manifest. Take my courses. I, I move you past the blocks. All of my courses help move you past all the blocks. Go down, I've got codes, you get discounts. Work on that, because if you, if you are in this quantum field connected to everything, and you are, you are everything, your focus is gonna create that situation. Let go of how, when, or whatever. That's all part of all the other things working in here that get to express themselves too. There's a boss at that job who chose that and qualified and is now in that place. So if you want that ideal job, you know, and then you get in there and you don't have the ideal boss, now you have to start to work on that. And then he gets transferred someplace else. Only because he wanted that. All right, so there is a respect within the quantum field that has to be in place. The respect is everything is absolutely working out the way it should and all the other expressions of which I am get their own individual focus and they can change it at any point, which makes it a lot of fun. But me, me I'm not like, so when you think it has to be this, that you're playing God, which is separatism. God is not separate from anything, right? These things you shall do and more, you're all God. So if you're playing God, then you're saying, 
I'm more important, I'm doing everything, and then of course that thing that you put out is actually a block in the quantum field that is everything. Okay, you're this, it has to be a certain way, great. Not gonna happen. Why? Because now you are, in a, you are limiting yourself. So if you open up and you say, ideal job, and whatever comes, you're gonna go, okay, I'm going with it. And then of course you listen to your heart. Did you watch my video, The Big Lie? Do you know what the big lie is? It's the bull crap you tell yourself to make it okay to do whatever you're doing that's not working. It's okay for me to eat Cheetos and sit on the couch because I have a bad back. I can't work out. Bull crap. Bull pucky. Right? Big lie. You know it. There's an exercise for you. Everything's possible. So what you're not doing is opening up to how that's going to work out. Right? you got to open up and say, I don't know what that exercise is. Guess what? I just did it. I, I wanted to do aerobic exercise because I run, I do a lot of, I run and spin, and I thought, I love to dance, I miss dancing. I, I was a dancer my whole life. And then I thought, I really want to dance, so I took dance lessons. And they were like super cheap, and I didn't really love them because they were a little boring. So I came back to the house, and I said, I don't think I'm going to take these dance lessons anymore. It just it didn't feel good, it wasn't exactly what I desired. I put it out there, and I did take the dance lessons. So I expanded in that space. So now the quantum field is entangled me more and more and more so I can fine tune that. So guess what happened? I get this announcement that there is a couple blocks from my house, a fitness dance studio. So it's all workout with weights and stuff, which I love, but they dance just like rumba, or what is it, um, Zumba, <laughs> rumba, Zumba and all those classes. I don't really, I'm not into Zumba. I, I usually fall, I fall off the, <laughs> I'm always falling, I'm not really coordinated sometimes. And so I, I get this and, you know, I reach out and they gave, gave me a discount because they're just now opening. And then they sent over an online access between now and when they open the doors. So as of today, I can do my dance workout steps in my house until that studio door opens up and I'm already a member of. It doesn't get any better. Not only did I want that, what I really wanted was to be able to walk to some place and didn't want to have to get in my car. So as I was experiencing this and taking the classes, I was going out there, I was trying this stuff. I didn't go, that's not right. I just said, I'm going to try it. What happened is as I tried it, I realized, and I wouldn't have known this until I got in the class, what I didn't really want about it. So my focus was on, I desire, uh, you know, I want to sweat in the class. I don't want to look cute and, you know, I, I want to sweat. I, I, you know, I, ooh, didn't like driving there. The traffic here is horrible at that time of day. So I didn't really want to drive to it. I was like, there has to be something local. And it shows up. This is how it works. I have no expectations, no blocks, no barriers to that thing that I desire. I just kept going with it, but I knew what my desire was. And so as I, as I put myself out there and entangled with everything, then these silver cords were moving away and moving away, and this silver cord came in and then entangled with me. Here you go. And now I'm going to go, yay, this is it. And I might get in there and say it's not it. And then something else will come because I'm fine-tuning that, but I'm open. I'm open to, I'm in the quantum field, I'm in the expanse of quantum field, and I go, no, 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 it has to be that person in that job, I'm not doing that. I'm saying, you know, this is what I desire in a job, this is what I desire in a workout class, this is what I desire for my career. I, I do this every day, there's a lot of things I desire within my career. And I'm very impatient, I mean, you may be impatient too, but if you pay attention, every little thing is happening to get you toward it. You've got to get those negative thoughts out. You've got to stop. They will block you because every time you focus on this and then you have some negative... Yeah. It's still there. And you're still entangled. But now your focus is not on that. It's over here to this, this doesn't work, this is... It has to be this way, it has to be that. Ego. And you know who the ego is. Yeah. Hacker T. Watch that video. Does this make sense? You're everything.
Everything's connected. It doesn't become entangled when you focus on it. You're entangled with everything, because you are everything. The entanglement intensifies and directs the creation of which everything exists already, but the creation within your reality, right? You're not creating something that doesn't exist. To me, creation is like creating something that you know, wasn't there before. It's always, everything's there already. You're creating it within your reality. So you're actually just moving this probability over here. So my, dan my dance lessons, okay, boom, I got them, got them. I mean, they were practically free. Eight lessons. Okay, didn't really like them. All right, so now what are we going to do? I'm going to get entangled some other things, and then this shows up. And I go, okay, I'm going to try that. I'm going to go to that. That's it. It's that simple. So right now, everything exists out for you to create in your reality. You're not changing like the world. So I, I desire a world that's perfect. Oh, it's no, because all these energies out there get to create their own scenarios and stuff. And this is why higher consciousness has to be in effect here. This is why we have to raise our frequency. We're going to affect each other. You have to. I'm not just the person here or here. When you raise your frequency, the entire planet changes. But it still has free will and it still has individual expressions within that one. It'll start to get entangled with peace and peace and peace and peace. Come join my miracle circle. We're creating miracles every month. It's a membership. It's super cheap. I've got a discount down here. Free first month. You get trained every week on how to create miracles, specifically miracles. We have a private room where we go in and two or three times a month, I have a live miracle creation session. We all put our, our focus in. You can choose something for yourself. Nothing wrong with that. And we're going to, as a group, start to focus on miracles. Come join me. It's powerful. That's why there's power in numbers. It's like, wait a minute, if we have individual free will, how can we do that? Because when we all focus on that one thing, it becomes super powerful. And so we're all wanting to create that thing. That's why that works. The entanglement becomes super entangled. Right now it's starting to be created and come into the material world. I'm telling you this works. This is how it works. It's really simple. But what we don't understand is that we are creators of our own reality within the one and that our free will and other people's free wills is a major factor. Otherwise, it wouldn't work on here. We'd be able to infringe on each other constantly. And things would happen to you that you don't want. And the things that don't happen, or the things that happen to you that you don't want right now, all have a purpose. Because it's getting you to where you need to be. I desire to be at peace and whatever, and then you're, you know, angry at your parents and you haven't forgiven them. So... Why is this all happening? Because the universe, you just placed, you're, in, you're just entangled with wanting peace. So now it's pushing you, maybe that's getting more intense, pushing you to forgive so that you can go into peace. It's giving you exactly what you need, what you asked for. So if stuff's not going right, it is the universe absolutely giving you what you're focused on. Not as, an, not as something separate. It's you creating what you're focused on and all the things that have to happen in order for that final event, which continues on and on, it's never really final, right? You're doing it. No one can make you fall in love with them. It's impossible. No one can make you sad. No one can make you un unhappy. No one can ruin your finances. Do you know more millionaires are made when the economy tanks? Because they see the opportunity. They're thinking and creating differently than people who allow this to determine whether they're going to be financially uh, healthy or not. That's how it works with everything. There's no circumstance out there that can interrupt what you desire to create. And what happens along the way, this is the acceptance of the challenges that you think shouldn't be happening, absolutely are always working in your favor. Spiritual Butt Kick. My book, Spiritual Butt Kick, is coming out soon. <laughs> I think you're going to love it. I also have a Spiritual Butt Kick uh, series on my mobile app. Go down, description, all the links for a ton of stuff. Links on this website, that's for business. Free. What are you waiting for? Create!
It's fun. Have fun. Learn. Why is this happening? Oh, cool. I must be getting closer to that thing I desire. Is there a block? I must remove it. Get busy. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Health, wealth, abundance, peace, and awakening. Namaste.